Houston, Texas. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, this was once Clutch City. Now it's no doubt the land of threes. Oh, Ed, do you smell that? There's some seasoning going on out there. There's going to be some cooking tonight. It could be sizzling here this evening. Let's get ready for the opening tip. Jay, you look at the Raptors. They have evolved in recent years. Last in assists per game a couple of regular seasons ago. Now they're sharing the basketball in far different ways. How do you guard against this current style? Well, adding Serge and Baca really made a difference for this Toronto team. You have Valentunas down low can give you points in the block as well. But the versatility of all the different pieces that they now have is a difference for this team. Something you wouldn't know about this matchup, though. Both teams rank top two in the league as far as defensive ratings. This is going to be a slugfest on the defensive end. Russell Westbrook powers it through. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. Houston takes over. Harden to Kyle Kuzma. Has a chance. Kuzma can't connect. And a chance coming up at the line. You see this all the time. The defensive player is establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. First one goes down. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. Westbrook to Harden. Hit. And throws it down. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. Rockets have the ball. I got ball. I got ball. That's me. Take stock of the floor. Oh, Russell Westbrook. Two for three now here in the first. The inner beast of Westbrook. Sheer determination. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think anybody got the license plate on that hit and run. And there is no one, I repeat, no one in the game of basketball with the first step in the explosion of Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook steps into it, knocks it down from mid-range. You can try and body him up, but he'll still run right through you. It's the way he attacks that makes him so dangerous. He chips off a piece of your body one possession at a time. First it's your arm, then it's your leg, and then inevitably, it's your soul. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Good as he finishes off the three-point play. They're back within a bucket. Here's Westbrook controlling the offense. Probing the defense. Here comes the screen. Oh, Russell Westbrook looking good. Four for five. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Rockets have the steal to Westbrook. Slam dunk, Russell Westbrook. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Now the Raptors going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over. Substitutions, Houston. Subbing in for the Monk 
against the former Finals MVP. Couldn't keep it in. Off Malik Monk. And now Houston oh, yeah. has the basketball to Capella. Clint Capella. He's two for two now. Old school equals high percentage. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. To Harden. Driving right to the basket. And they call the foul. Jay, he was there too late. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. James Harden, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 85% free throw shooter. Nope, first one does not go. Missed the second one as well. Gets it in the left corner to Ibaka. Oh, great pass, setting up the basket. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Hey, watch this screen list. Rockets with four to shoot. Harden shoots. That's usually one that he'll knock down. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. It's Rockets ball. Harden. To Kyle Kuzma. Line missed a short one there. Kennard. And coasting in for two. You know what we call that, Ed? We call that now you see me, now you don't. Igadala to bring it up. Down five. Capella to Harden. Here comes the screen. It's Harden. Deep two there, won't go. Serge Ibaka, he's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. That'll get out off the Raptors. Deep three at the buzzer. Time expires to end the first half. The Raptors have the lead. It's time for the Rose Report at halftime, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Raptors entered halftime with the player of the half. The film speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. Fellas. Back to you. All set to go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. Toronto we go, we go. has the basketball. Haskell Siakam. Clint Capella ah, tips it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Westbrook with it. it the margin it. standing now at seven. Doesn't have the touch. No good. 
The drive right to the basket. James Harden. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. Harden into the front court. They trail by seven. To Westbrook. Oh, emphatic slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Harden in possession. The deficit now up to five. James Harden, consistent effort. He's at 50%. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Free throws coming up. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. First try, no good. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Rockets in control of the basketball. Westbrook down low for Tucker. Not done yet. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. Westbrook across the timeline. His guys trail now by four. Has a look. Missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. Lowry with it. They lead it. Four-point game. Easy pad to the rim. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the refs. No call. Let him play. Russell Westbrook with the rock. Here comes the screen. It's Westbrook. He had all day and all night to knock that one down. Need to hear more chatter on the defensive end. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Both. Substitutions. Stepping in. Lowry into the front court. His guys now trailing by a point. Got a piece of him. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. To Westbrook. Sergi Baca snatching it out of the air. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. 24 second violation. Chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. to a two-point game. We get a whistle and a timeout for Houston. They trail by two. And the question, do they look for the tie in overtime? Or do they go for it all with a three? That misses with two seconds to go. It's the Raptors with the victory as they win a close one by two. For Jay Williams and all our crew,
I'm Ed Cohen, saying so long for now. This has been a present. The Raptors almost let this one. Player of the game. When you see these highlights, it's easy to see how this guy earned the award. His impact on the game wasn't lost on anyone.